Throughout history, certain symbols have appeared across civilizations, serving as gateways to deeper truths about existence, consciousness, and the universe. One such symbol is the Flower of Life, a geometric pattern made up of overlapping circles that has been revered by many ancient cultures. This symbol is not only a spiritual representation of interconnectedness, but also resonates with the principles of sacred geometry, which underpins both ancient wisdom and modern science. Sacred geometry refers to the mathematical patterns that form the foundation of all life, from the microcosm of atoms to the macrocosm of galaxies. The flower of life's significance goes beyond its aesthetic appeal. It embodies the Fibonacci sequence and the golden ratio, mathematical phenomena found throughout nature, such as in the spirals of seashells and the branching patterns of trees. It is a visual testament to the interconnectedness of all life, illustrating how everything in the universe is connected through a delicate, harmonious structure. The idea that the universe operates based on a particular order and underlying geometry opens a doorway to understanding the fabric of existence itself. In recent times, more people are turning their attention to the nature of this sacred geometry, particularly in relation to the human body and mind. These geometries map out the underlying structure of reality, and once we align ourselves with these patterns, we become in sync with the version of reality we wish to manifest. This concept draws from both ancient wisdom and modern quantum theories. The key to manifesting the life we desire lies in aligning our internal geometry with the universal patterns that govern reality. When we achieve this alignment, the quantum event of manifestation has no choice but to unfold. The ancient Egyptians were among those who held sacred geometry in high regard. Hieroglyphs depict godlike beings, or nets, who could travel between dimensions making sharp 90-degree turns to navigate through different realities. These hieroglyphs suggest that sacred geometry was understood as more than a symbolic representation. It was a practical tool for spiritual and interdimensional navigation. In modern terms, the idea of preparing the body and mind to receive higher knowledge or divine energy resonates with practices such as yoga and meditation, where the body is seen as an antenna for higher consciousness. This brings us to an intriguing concept, the idea of an all-space, a place where all possible realities exist simultaneously. In this all-space, parallel realities are like potential outcomes that can be accessed based on the alignment of one's heart and mind. The reality that we experience is determined by two key factors, the thoughts we entertain and the feelings we hold. This means that the geometry of our internal state, our mental and emotional alignment, dictates which version of reality becomes illuminated and, consequently, manifests into physical existence. The process of aligning with a desired reality is not simply about thinking positive thoughts or setting goals. It requires emotional alignment. Intellectual clarity alone is not enough if the emotional state remains rooted in fear, anxiety or doubt. For instance, if someone loses their job and intellectually decides to start a business, their mind may be clear about the steps they need to take. However, if emotionally they are still anchored in fear of financial scarcity or failure, they will find themselves in a state of conflict, pulled in two directions. This lack of congruence between mind and heart creates disharmony, making it difficult for the desired reality to manifest. The key to resolving this conflict is to begin with the heart. Emotional clarity must precede intellectual planning. The heart, when aligned with the desired outcome, sets the stage for the mind to follow. This is a fundamental principle in the process of manifestation. Emotional congruence means that we fully embody the feelings associated with our desired reality, rather than being tied to the fears and limitations of our current situation. By doing so, we align with a quantum event that brings our desired reality into being. This process can be seen in the story of many individuals who have achieved success in unexpected ways. One person may start a business, not out of a logical decision, but because it felt intuitively right. Even if the initial steps made no sense to them intellectually, they followed their heart. Over time, the path unfolded, and opportunities they could not have predicted began to emerge. This phenomenon illustrates the power of aligning with the heart first, allowing the mind to take the necessary actions from a place of emotional clarity. 
Faith is another crucial element in the manifestation process. Faith is trust in the unknown and unseen. While belief is based on past experiences and known outcomes, faith allows us to step into uncharted territory. It requires us to trust in the potential of what has not yet come into existence. In the absence of faith, doubt and fear take over, pulling us back into old patterns of thinking and feeling. Faith, therefore, is a prerequisite for creating something new in our lives. This idea of trusting in the unknown is central to the teachings of many spiritual traditions. In the Christian tradition, for example, there is a famous saying, According to your faith, be it unto you. This statement encapsulates the idea that faith is the driving force behind manifestation. When we have faith in our ability to create a new reality, we align ourselves with the quantum event that brings that reality into existence. Conversely, when we allow fear and doubt to dictate our emotional state, we remain stuck in a version of reality that reflects those emotions. The relationship between the heart and mind is not one-sided. While the heart sets the emotional tone, the mind plays a crucial role in providing clarity and direction. Once emotional alignment has been achieved, the mind can begin to conceive of the specific steps needed to bring the desired reality into being. This is where sacred geometry comes into play. Just as the universe is structured according to certain geometric principles, our thoughts and actions must be aligned with these principles in order to create the life we want. One of the most important geometric principles is that of balance. The mind and heart must be in harmony for manifestation to occur. If the mind is clear, but the heart is conflicted, or if the heart is clear, but the mind is scattered, the process of manifestation is disrupted. Balance between thought and emotion is the foundation of creation. In practical terms, this means that we must cultivate both emotional clarity and intellectual focus in order to manifest our desired reality. Another key aspect of manifestation is expanding one's comfort zone. The process of growth and change requires us to step into the unknown, to move beyond the familiar and into new territory. This can be uncomfortable as it challenges the mind's desire for certainty and predictability. However, it is in the unknown that new possibilities arise. By expanding our comfort zone, we open ourselves to experiences and opportunities that we may not have been able to conceive of from within the confines of our previous reality. The journey of manifestation is not just about achieving external goals, such as financial success or material abundance. It is about aligning with our true self and expressing that self fully in the world. When we are in alignment with our true nature, the actions we take are a natural extension of who we are and the results we achieve are a reflection of our inner state. This is the essence of the being-doing-having paradigm. Who we are determines what we do, and what we do determines what we have. At the highest level of existence, we are not defined by our actions or our possessions. We are defined by our state of being. When we embody our true self, we experience life as a natural flow, rather than as a struggle to achieve or acquire. This is the state of alignment that sacred geometry seeks to describe, a state in which the internal and external worlds are in perfect harmony and where manifestation occurs effortlessly. In conclusion, the principles of sacred geometry offer a profound understanding of the interconnectedness of life and the process of creation. By aligning our internal geometry, our thoughts, emotions and actions with the universal patterns that govern reality we gain the ability to manifest the life we desire. This process requires emotional clarity, faith, and the willingness to step into the unknown. As we expand our comfort zone and align with our true self, we tap into the infinite possibilities of the all space, bringing forth a reality that is in harmony with our deepest desires and highest potential.